Hi ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chadwick. I am the owner of Visitor751.com, powered by Shopify, a website with over 751 designs on over 17,000 products. Some of the products being the ones surrounding me as I speak here about Etsy and how uh, my ex Etsy experience is going in terms of how I put out a video recently, how they had banned my account permanently. I was able to file with both the BBB and the FTC and get my account reinstated through that way because I had already contacted Etsy multiple times trying to let them know that I I did nothing wrong, which I did do nothing wrong, and they had, they sent back a message to the BBB stating that they made a mistake and that they banned my account by accident for permanently forever for accident. Uh, so I was able to get my account. They reinstated my account. It was about two weeks, three weeks after they had banned it for permanent reasons or whatever and they put it back up so all of that time i had over six thousand listings and i had paid well over a thousand dollars for putting up all those listings on top of all of the as advertisement money i had spent on their website already so i had already built up a reputation with a uh, having made some sales and i had positive five-star reviews and this is right in october the end of october that this happened to me i think it was like the 27th of october so I would have actually been a star seller in November if they had kept my account up as well, which uh, when you're a star seller, people view your account as being more more uh, trustworthy to, and they start to buy, make more uh, purchases from your account because they they believe that it's um, a place that they, the person that they can buy from and they'll get what they expect to get, which is true. I do provide uh, good service and I do provide that. But they shut my account down uh, that during that time. So when they reinstated it, I was not given the star seller status that I should have been given. And my account was shut down for all of these days. This is like the prime time Q4 uh, holiday season when I should be making sales. And I would have been making sales. So uh, when they reinstated my account, I, I was able to fight. And then they sent a message. They said we did a mistake. And then I sent the message back saying, I understand you made this mistake. Um... I understand you made this mistake and you admit it was a mistake. So I asked them for some money uh, or for some kind of compensation at the very least to uh, put things back into order because I should have, I would have been making sales and I know I would have been making sales because I was making sales up to that point. And they did, uh, they, since then they've actually put an extra $200 in my uh, account for ad advertisement spending, which I used right away. And i uh, it barely does anything. Advertising there, I spent two hundred dollars on advertising. I think I made like one or two sales. And the reality is, it's like I had they when they took down my listings, they lost all of their ranking as well. They, it takes like a couple, it takes like a month or so to like get into the ranking system. And I had listed all my listings for Q four like a month ahead of time so that they would get within the ranking system. So it really messed up my account and I do believe that I've lost more than I would have, I would have made more if uh, they had kept my account up rather than shut it down and they could do it again who knows what's going to happen with uh, with their their how they do things because you know I contacted them um, on their message system the other day it says takes one minute to reply I've tried twice in the past couple of weeks to contact them through this way where it says will reply in one minute and they never respond ever like I, I, I sit there waiting like I type a message and I, it says a service member will be a customer service member will be right with you and nobody responds for I wait there for like an hour and nothing nothing comes up to respond to me to help me with my concern because I've had some other concerns since then since this whole scenario my account is back up though and I've been making sales and I've been um, providing the service that I promised to my customers and uh, getting some good reviews. And I'm glad to see that I'm able to be back on Etsy because it is a good platform. I think uh, that it is, a, it is a platform where business, small businesses have been able to utilize it and work together and uh, build a community, somewhat of a community. Like there is a bit of a community factor to it. My website, visitor751.com is... 100% better built by Shopify because I get to keep all of the, I get to keep a greater percentage of the profits. I get to build a, a community and things like a newsletters and like being able to uh, like can it's 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 much better in terms of like everything in terms of like you don't have to worry about getting shut down for 
random. Uh, I feel like there's less of that going on. If you go onto, for example, x.com, you can find all these stories of people. If you go onto the uh, the Twitter x.com page of Etsy, you, you see in their comment section, people are consistently being banned like I was without being given any reason and it's happening on a consistent basis and that's hurting small businesses uh, like like it did to mine. So to see this is happening at Etsy and then you go to the Shopify page and if you if you write something to them, they give you a good response. Most of the times you'll, you you can see by the way that like how they work how they respond back to their customers, a lot of times they respond right back and they like give them good info to help them to understand what's going on if they have a problem or how to fix it. And they've done that. Uh, Shopify has helped me uh, to build my website in so many ways. I'm so like proud to be a Shopify member at this point in time uh, in terms of like uh, their, their customer service being good. It does cost uh, more to run a Shopify store and you have to build your own audience because the audience isn't there like it is with Etsy. So you have to run advertising with this stuff and that's been it's been uh, tough, especially like on a uh, minimum budget for advertising. To, so I've been doing things like organically, making posts on x.com and uh, you know other places as well. There were social media platforms like Pinterest. I have a Pinterest page where I've been posting my products where it links to my website. If people like one, they can just click on the product and it'll take them to the product on my website. Uh, building it up slowly and organically is kind of like it's harder to do it in the long run. It's better though because I own my domain name visitor751.com. So regardless of if anything happens to like, for example, uh, Printify, which is a the platform I use for, and they've been good as well. Printify has been fantastic. Um, they've connected with me with a lot of great manufacturers. Let's say their website gets shut down, and all of my products disappear. At least I still have my website, so I can still put more products onto it and uh, I can, or if, if even if Shopify gets shut down for whatever reason, doubt it, but if it does get shut down at some point, it's like I can still build my website with another platform because I still own the domain visitor751.com. And regardless, I'm building a brand, visitor751 brand. Even if I lost my domain name, I'm still building uh, the visitor751 brand. So it's like building a brand and having a brand is important long-term and what I'm doing with it and the things that I'm doing with it, I've talked about in other videos, how I'm considering all these different things. I'm using video AI at the moment to create like storylines about these characters, like this visitor 751 character I have and all of the different characters and the storylines of things. Anyways, this whole video is about Etsy and how I got my account back uh, reinstated. So I wanted to share that and I'm back on there making some sales. Things are going okay. Uh, I'd like to see more sales than I'm getting, but you know, it's, it's good that I'm back on there. And I think they've made some effort to um, fix their mistake. And by giving me ad credit, I respect that it, they did, they, they could have, uh, they could have decided not to, and there would have been nothing that I could have really have done, but instead they decided to give me the $200 in ad credit, which was you know better than nothing. So respect to that. And I'd like to see, myself built with Etsy going forward into the future and to be able to make videos that are positive about Etsy in the future and how I'm making bank, like making thousands. And I can just tell everybody long stories like this about how they can become an Etsy, uh, how, can, how they can use Etsy to make millions like I do, like the gur gurus we see on YouTube, all the Printify gurus that are talking it up and uh, saying how how they're making so much money, which is like, I don't know if they're being given like better algorithms or what because I have some fantastic designs. You can see I have 17,000 products with 751 designs and my designs are pretty great and my titles are all pretty great and my tags are all pretty great on the Etsy website and I'm not making the kinds of sales that they kind of promise in their YouTube videos over this Q4 here now that I have my account back. I'm not seeing those. Uh, I'm not seeing five thousand dollars one thousand dollars i'm i mean i might I, i'm not seeing like the big numbers fifty thousand dollars <laughs> like when i say big numbers that's big for print on demand i think fifty thousand is a pretty pretty uh reasonable like goal is what they set as a standard of uh, these youtubers set as a standard so i was like oh well this uh i'm just gonna go ahead and follow what they say and keep putting out designs i have over five thousand listings on etsy 
and where are the sales you know i put all the work into the titles and the tags like i said it's, i'm re i'm just like going on a circle here a little bit <laughs> come on youtubers what's up with this uh you know who you are we all know who those youtubers are my name's chadwick i'm a uh, real 100 percent transparent here and uh some of them i think are being a little less transparent about the way that uh things really work or they're just like believing it in their heads like that anybody can do it because they're doing it and uh, they might just be given like better algorithms or something because uh it makes no sense since i have the right designs and so do you probably if you're listening to this you're probably like you could be thinking the same thing as i'm thinking like what's going on here with my designs on these products um and i'm pricing them i'm pricing them very fair i'm pricing them reasonably fair i've done i've priced them at the lowest point possible to uh to a reasonable as well to a reasonable point where uh, where they like other youtubers have talked about pricing stuff at so I'm keeping the prices and ever doing everything and uh, There's my story visitor 751.com check out my designs check out my products Tell me uh, what you think peace out